Back in 2003, there was a, a recognition that some areas of the country had fared less well in attracting grants and cash from the National Lottery. So there was a plan put together to try and redress that balance, and that is what Fair Share was about. Like most deprived communities, we suffer from a wide range of problems, so we've got you know, significant levels of unemployment, benefit dependency, high teenage pregnancy rates. Unfortunately, on the statistics, we appear high for all of the wrong reasons. At a very early stage, the panel in Ashington decided that their main focus needed to be around young people. And this was largely around concerns that young people were hanging out and being disruptive we needed to look at channeling some of that aggression and activity in a more socially acceptable way. The Hearst Welfare Centre is a multi-use community sports facility. We've actually received three separate grants through the Fair Shares programme. What that meant was we're able to put a programme of activities on seven days a week for children from the age of three up to young people age 19. I'm Gary Middleton uh, and I'm the Football Development Manager. We've had uh, the touch shots sessions for the three to five year olds. When we first started this about four years ago, it was, it was bringing the, the kids along from the community and giving them an opportunity at such a young age to take part in something and be active. The skills that they go away with, coordination and balance, sharing, listening skills, working socially with other young children and concentration, stuff that the need throughout school uh, and they're getting them at a, at, a, at a young age and developing football skills along the way. Oh, it's absolutely wonderful. The children thoroughly enjoy it. It makes no difference that she's a girl, she's fully included and they just absolutely love it. It's really great. Well, it is exercise and um, he's learning everything. Attitude, discipline, everything. Goals, two goals. Just get him using all his energy up so he's not so boisterous when he comes home. My name's Ashley Gibb and we're teaching Charlie in a day. They all absolutely love it and it's good for them getting out on the social side of it as well. They're making new friends here. There's like girls that have just came and they've made loads of friends from it. It's really nice. like not much around Ashton really and the kids giving the kids something to do and they love it and the exercise is really good for them. My favourite thing is keeping fit. My favourite thing is learning new moves and having new friends. A lot of what we were actually funding was around younger people but the centre was then able to use that funding as leverage for match funding for activities across the whole age spectrum. I'm Graham, I'm 20 and this is my first competition. Right. I don't know any other gym like it. All the others are just for fitness and this is the only powerlifting gym I know. My name's James Stuff, I'm uh, 20 years old. I hope to break the British record on the squat discipline with about 300 kilo. That's about nearly four times my own body weight. People always say we're the best competitions in the country because we've got the facilities and we've got enough equipment for everyone to use. We've coached, I think it's 49 British champions, seven Commonwealth champions and three European champions. Fred was like, why don't you come along? I can make you champion. So I came along one night and I was just in the corner down there and I was like, I don't want to go up there. And then when I came up here and lifted, I've been here ever since. That's, that's all we do, eat and train really, eat, train and sleep. With young people, with it being such a significant part of the allocation, a range of projects were set up to work with young people to raise their skills, increase their capacity, to then go on and train as youth workers, gain qualifications and hopefully pursue their, their own careers in the local community. We've created 19 young people's jobs. We've got more young people to go back to school one young man I coach, we went to Poland in, in September this year and he was coaching three young men from different countries. The Swedish coach comes to me and he says that young man is an excellent coach and he will be a great coach. The biggest capital project was the skate park. 
which was really a view coming from the young people themselves, that that particular part of Ashington was devoid of any real focus for young people to do the things that they wanted to do and they wanted to engage with. Now Fair Share commissioned groundwork to do a feasibility study with the young people looking at where it would be best located and that involved drawing designs, visiting other skate parks in the area. I did some drawings, uh, had various meetings and you know, the lads looked at all the drawings and this was pretty much a design we came up with, you know, trying to get a, a bowl uh, which is the main part of our skate park. Uh, it's just been really positive for them, you know, it gives them somewhere to learn off each other, you know, they learn new tricks every time they're down, everyone sort of pushes each other and supports each other, you know, it does give them a focus, you know, it stops them, that whole thing of kids hanging around the streets. When I come here, I just love coming here, I mean, friends are here, I've made new, met new people everywhere, like everything like that. I mean, I've, learned, I've became better on a bike coming here, it's just so much fun coming here and I love coming down. Oh, it's brilliant, the kids love it. It's uh, something we've wanted for a long time. I think everyone in the whole community seems really pleased with it, you know, it's been probably best thing that happened to North Seaton for years really. I think if you look now at the skate park, that's a fabulous facility that is going to last and is going to be there for a long time and that's all due to fair share. If we hadn't secured the fair share's funding, the reality is what our programme for straight and 19 year olds would not be in existence now. One of the aims of fair share was to develop capacity in local organisations so that they would subsequently be better able to bid for funding. And I think again, if you look at Hearst Welfare, they're in a much better position than they were in terms of sustaining that organisation and developing that organisation. It was about building for the next generation and ensuring that young people in East Ashington, you know, had a future, built their futures and actually got something for the long term. And the kudos that it has brought to this part of Northumberland has been tremendous.